Hey, it's Jake with the Intermark Group, the nation's largest psychology-driven marketing firm, and this is the CMO Minute. In this minute, we're going to see how complex changing somebody's beliefs is. Now, we'll start with a piece of research that you may have been familiar with. When we look at active attention for people consuming video, we find that there's a difference based off of the platform. The highest end on Instagram, people pay a lot of attention to the content. And at the lowest end on linear TV, they pay the least active attention to the content. Now, you may be thinking, hey, that's great. Instagram, what a good deal. But in terms of changing opinions, there's a piece of research somewhat counterintuitive that you need to be aware of. Now, this is an older piece of research from the 1960s. They ran an experiment where they took some fraternity students and wanted to see if they could change their opinions about fraternities by sharing with them an argument that showed that fraternities were uh, morally negative. Now, they ran it in two conditions, one with a group that uh, paid active attention uh, to the argument, and another where they only paid passive attention to the content, where they showed them something to distract them and played the audio in the background. Now, the results of the study were profound. What they found is that the group that passively heard the argument had much stronger changes of opinions than those that actively heard the argument. Now, wait a minute, that doesn't seem to make sense at first blush until you understand how people consume information. When we're consuming information passively, we're taking it in system one, which doesn't process the information cognitively. We're just storing it, we're putting it in long-term memory, and then later can access that information we're trying to make decisions. But when we're consuming information actively, we use system two, at which point we're thinking about it critically and offering, often forming counter opinions and counter arguments to decide whether or not we believe that information. Thus, passive consumption of content can have a much stronger effect on uh, opinion change over a long period of time. Now, what this does, it indicates marketing is much more complex than it appears at first blush. That also includes when and how we consume information. Now, we're going to discuss this at much greater depth at this week's blog at intermarkgroup.com slash insights. As always, keep your questions coming. This is a great example of how complex marketing can be, and we love those conversations. Until next week, this is the CMO Minute.